friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intermittent cataract with very high intraventricular pressure the anterior chamber is very shallow and the anterior capsule is taut and very much convex i have taken up this case for surgery by this time the main incision and on side port on the left side of the main incision have been made the anterior capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and now the anterior chamber has been filled up with visco one more side port is made on the right side of the main incision the side ports are about 2 and a half clock hours away from the main incision and now see the rexis the anterior capsule is punctured and the flap is not straight the flap or tag is tongue shaped it's a c flap now i used a data forceps move this tag all around and do a small rexis at this stage if i try to do a large rexis invariably the rexis will run to the periphery and get lost under the iris and now intralenticular pressure will be reduced by this procedures we can use this instrument this is a 23g simco cannula aspirate some cortical matter or we can use just the irrigation of bimanual irrigation aspiration probes and rotate the lens and move the lens sideways and after some time what will happen is see some cortical matter is coming out through the opening and it is coming out through the incision outside so in this way the intralenticular pressure can be drastically reduced and once the intralenticular pressure is reduced the enlargement of this small rexis will be very easy so a lot of cortical matter has come out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber this is 2% aspmc over the cornea visibility improves a lot if we apply this and now see how to enlarge this small rexis into a large rexis small cut at 8 o'clock the tag is made this tag is held with uterator and just go all around at this time the capsule will not tend to go to periphery it will be very much obedient so the rexis has been made and if we can master this technique we don't need a femto laser to do rexis in intermittent cataracts yes if you have lot of money you can buy a costly toy and do whatever it can do but many of us will not be able to afford that so we have to increase our skills to a certain level and now the tip of the feco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber see the direct job some superficial cortical matter is removed 
Handpiece is turned, bevel is up towards the cornea now. Now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is held with high vacuum very firmly. And then the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two halves. Each heminucleus is held with vacuum and it is subdivided into two parts. Now each fragment is again divided if necessary, otherwise it is just eaten off. And now the heminucleus on the left is rotated and it is chopped again into two fragments. It is tilted, it is still attached, the attachment is broken and each fragment is then emulsified. This nucleus is not hard, it is about grade 3 and it is getting chopped very easily, it is brittle and managing such nucleus is not tough. Fecal power used in this case is 70%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last nuclear fragment. It is subdivided into two pieces and emulsified. And for this last small piece, the vacuum is reduced to about 150 and emulsification of this piece is carried out very very slowly. Care is taken so that there is no surge and the posterior capsule is not coming upward. All these things are noticed and very slowly this piece is emulsified. Now after cortical cleanup, a uh, monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsula bag and then after visco cleaning the case looks like this. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.